Alright, this is the Squid Game uh, New Year's prediction for Leo. I saw another terror reader do something like this, and I got bored, and I was like, I could do it better, um, because I actually watched it, and I was like, I can do this better, and it would just be a lot of fun for people. So, hopefully you see the fun in it. It's not going to be like, you know, a game show or anything. But it's, uh, it's pretty fun. I would say so hopefully you see where I'm coming from and you kind of get some information along the way about your 2022 predictions okay so let's start off with the first one it's gonna be the recruit um, which is basically ground zero so it's the cost of everything in 2022 um, so let's see we have the seven of swords Seven of Swords is going to be worries, so there's going to be a no feature to this. So there's going to be um, a trust and reason uh, to not sway by popular opinion, respond with integrity. So there's going to be something here that you're going to have to kind of show integrity about or kind of put your two cents in, but do it in such a way where it doesn't offend anybody. But at the same time, it gets your point across. Okay, so that's kind of what it is. Anyway, number one, the official start of the game. We have red light, green light. The hibiscus flower has bloomed. And your hibiscus flower was the ten of water, which I believe is going to be the pink and red hibiscus. So there's going to be love, kindness, harmony, Frivality, um, strength, power, determination, kindness, uh, harmony, uh, passion, desire, ambition, and motivation. So, I think I, I might have like doubled words there, but you know, you know what I mean. So, it will come to you naturally. There's going to be a false heart, violence within the home, or petty jealousies. Or rivalries, less uh, loss of a friend. So there's there's something here that's gonna kind of trigger you. I feel, but it's all good. I feel so. Anyway, number two um, in the game, we have the honeycomb scene, the iconic sugar honeycomb. So the sugar honeycomb in this reading is patience. What are you looking forward to in 2022? So, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, uh, it will come with a price. Um, worry, especially about money, loss of money, loss of innocence in a deliberate fashion. So, I feel like yours, your honeycomb will be the star. And that's, in and of itself, a difficult one to carve out. But I feel like um, it, it will be well worth it um, in the long run. But I feel like it might take time. Okay, so hopefully you need to be patient on certain things. Um, number three in the game, we have tug of war. So strength, inner strength, mental wellness through 2022. And that will be the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, it will come to you naturally. So, um, unacquainted love, a dangerous false friend, separation or divorce, incompatible desires, misunderstandings. So, um, with, with all that, that's kind of going to be a bit of, you know... You're, you're going to have a lot to figure out, okay? And I feel like the solution to your problem will come to you relatively fast, as far as that's concerned. Okay, so we have number four. Number four is going to be marbles. Remember marbles in the game? Um, we have the talent of the bluff. What are your wishes, secrets, and hopes? All right, so we have the Empress. The Empress is good luck. So this could be good luck in your pursuits or good luck in somebody else's pursuits. 
So it could be very random, or you might have to work at it, you might have to put through, um, to work what you have planned or something in order to make it work, or put your two cents in, your advice, your hat into the ring for some reason or another. Okay, so let's see, your talents and stuff. So we have a wavering hesitation, um, inability or unwillingness to concentrate, procrastination, nerve tension, throwing away resources through idiocy, fickleness, and um, vanity. So there's something here that you're kind of a little bit vain on, or you might actually have something uh, to gain or lose. I feel like it's coming from somebody else, though. Like, I feel like your hopes are, and dreams are kind of, like, the same as they always have been. But I feel like a lot of certain things, there might be a little bit of shift in how you perceive somebody. Okay? So, there's that as well. Anyway, number five. Number five in the game is going to be Hopscotch. Uh, the Glass Bridge, Courage, um, will you be able to face your fears in 2022? Um, uh, pretty nicely too. So the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a no, but it's, um, speak between, um, worlds. So shout, sing, scream, declare the truth out loud without fear. So you might, you might have to take a non-existent approach to actually put yourself out there and say the truth of the matter. Um, it, it might be a little bit hard. I actually see the umbrella in this, so it's going to be a recap of the umbrella. So, um, I don't remember all the symbols, so I feel like the, the umbrella is kind of like the dreaded one that nobody wanted, but, um, it, it is, a, <laughs> it is valuable to actually get a point across, right? Especially when it comes to Squid Game versus reality. But anyway, so we have a final one, the final game, which is actually Squid Game. Um, the Endurance of 2020, and uh, how will 2020 end for you? Well, 2022. <laughs> how will 2022 end for you, and how will you endure 2022? I'm so tired. Um... Anyway, so we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is, no, a withdrawal from borders, a calm within body and mind, a pause to cherish the present moment. So there's something here that is um, going to come with the satisfaction of actually stopping somebody from taking advantage of you. And I feel like that's what... Uh, 2022 is going to be about for you. It's finding the right time, the right moment to say your piece and have the biggest impact against uh, somebody who may not be 100% on your side or might be trying to say the wrong things. So there's going to be signs, messages from God, nature, or from a person. So I would take that as waiting until it's time. So if it becomes an issue, you'll know the exact time and place when the opportunity arises. Okay, so just wait for that, I guess. And, um, you know, because if you just say it, like, and there's no, like, resolution or problem, it's, it's kind of, you know, a bit of an issue. But if you have to resolve something, it's better to do it as soon as something foul comes out from somebody else, and then you kind of clarify your piece and how you see it, okay? Anyway, Leo, hopefully you have a good 2022. I'm a bit tired, so I misspoke a little bit there, but hopefully you kind of get what this little squid game thing was about. It kind of got to the point, I thought, and it helps people out. So, um... Yeah, just wait for the opportunity in case you had to straighten somebody out on facts. But don't just cause drama for the sake of drama. Cause drama for the sake of knowledge. Um, I feel like if people are knowledgeable about a situation, they'll be more impacted by, oh yeah, that happened, this happened, this happened, because 
it makes sense now as to why certain things happen, you know, that type of thing. But you have to be very mindful of how things come across to other people, okay, that are not a part of the whole thing, so. If there's this problem, you need to kind of present it in a solution form, okay. Anyway, Leo, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. I will see you in the next reading. If you need a recap on your Squid Game score for uh, 2022, um, it'll be down below in the description with the questions and symbols and everything. So you can better understand it. I don't think I'm too good at explaining things, but hopefully you get it. But, um, yeah. It makes more sense once you read it and then you watch the thing over again. I've heard that from a few people. But anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.